Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is part of the full web rectification and in this we will be primarily studying bridge rectifier or bridge network. So why it is called bridge? I could not find a name, a reason for this but I guess if you redraw this it, it will be something like this. So two diodes, two diodes and in between you have the register and if you look this building you have a bridge in between so similarly this one is also like a bridge and that is why probably it is called bridge rectifier okay when we um, uh, do practical we use separate diodes for all these but in in practice now they have um, ic which has all the four diodes in it and so one ic will act as a bridge rectifier complete okay the input normally is a reduced voltage so uh, if we have 220 input through transformer we reduce that to let's say 18 volt or 12 volt and then we use bridge rectifier to make it DC okay so this is the bridge rectifier circuit that is uh, used for ease, I'll mark the terminal with ABCD. ABCD. And keep in mind one point only. Diode will conduct if anode is positive. So just look for the anode. This anode, if this is positive, that means this anode is positive. And this is not positive. So this will be forward bias. This will be reverse bias. The second point is or the cathode is negative so this negative we see which cathode is making negative so this cathode is negative therefore this will become forward bias and this will become reverse bias so we can uh, for the positive half cycle our circuit will become like this this is forward bias this is forward bias and these two reverse bias now let's follow the current path current starting from the positive terminal going like this the important point is that wherever the current touches first uh, the for terminal of the resistor that terminal will be marked positive so since this is touching uh, this terminal so this will be marked positive and the other negative and now if we redraw this circuit we just pull it a little bit these two terminals are same so a b is same so i'm just writing b and similarly c d is short same i'm just writing c so now th in this scenario you can see we are applying a vm positive voltage there is only one resistor and therefore the output will also be vm positive so this will be the output for the positive half cycle see the negative half cycle this is for reference the positive half cycle okay for the negative half cycle now we have inverted the sign this is negative here it was positive at the top and now this negative we bring here so this is touching this negative or cathode so this will become forward bias and this reverse bias similarly positive terminal coming here positive anode so this will become forward bias and this reverse bias so we redraw it like this and just as we did in the previous case we stretch it pull it or we we'll follow the current direction yes the current direction again now going from positive and touching the right hand side first so this will become positive so the important point if you compare the two in both cases the b terminal is positive and the c terminal is negative that means if the output was positive here in this case also the output should be positive okay redrawn this our circuit will become like this current going from here this is positive this is negative you can write it in two ways one is we say vcb so v output cb we uh, obviously it will be minus because minus is at the top if we are looking from here but if we we are interested in vbc then this minus sign will go so when we write it as vobbc 
then it will be simply plus Vm. And if you just flip this diagram, uh, you will get a new diagram which will have positive at the top, negative at the bottom, positive at the top. So from here you can directly now write that the output will be equal to positive Vm. Okay, so this is for the second half cycle. And so this is complete output now for the both half cycles. We need to find the DC. So we have this voltage, this is a full wave rectifier. So these formulas, if you just keep in mind, uh, that for half wave rectifier, the DC value is VDC, V peak over pi, which is actually equal to 0. Uh, 318 Vm. For full wave rectifier, it will be double of the half. So you multiply by 2. 2 multiply by this value uh, will give the Vdc for full wave rectifier, which will be equal to 0 0.636 Vm. Okay, so in this case also, it will be the DC value will be 0 0.636 Vm. Okay, now the question is that if instead of ideal diode, if these diodes were silicon diodes, so what will happen? Now we know that for, for ideal diode we had just uh, made it short, but for silicon diode we have to show it with a uh, 0 0.7 volt source here or battery. So this will be the new diagram for silicon diode in forward condition there will be 0 0.7 volt uh, source here and uh, uh, here also because this is also forward bias so 0 0.7 volt now we can um, write the equation by kvl we follow this loop so from here minus vi minus vi plus vk plus vk plus v naught plus v naught and plus Vk is equal to 0 and so from here V out or V naught is equal to Vi minus 2 Vk and that is what has been shown here the peak will now be Vm which is Vi Vm minus 2 Vk and similarly for the second half we will get the same answer So this is the output and we can find the DC value by simply multiplying it by 0 0.636. So 0 0.636 multiplied by the peak. Okay. Now uh, just for your knowledge, there is a term called peak inverse voltage. Uh, what does that mean is that when the diode is in reverse bias like here and here, what pressure how much voltage can it sustain so that is called the peak inverse voltage so like in this case we are applying vm and it is sustaining vm so we can say that the peak inverse voltage will be equal to vm or even greater than vm and here is an uh, from the spec just to give an idea these are the uh, diodes and everyone has different peak inverse voltage. Now the first one 4001 has peak inverse voltage of 50 volt. So if you apply 60, 70 it will burst. But if you want more than this, this has 100 in, uh, peak inverse, 200 and 1000. So you can choose these diodes. Now let's see one example solved in the book. This is the circuit. Now instead of four diodes, it's just using two diodes and there are two resistors. So we'll follow exactly the same technique. Mark the terminal say VCD. Here positive for the positive half, positive here. Therefore this diode, this will be forward bias and this will be a reverse bias. So we have drawn it, shorted and the resistors remain there. Now we can redraw this point is same. So this point is uh, same. I have just eliminated this. 
Now from here you can see there are two paths. One path is the short path and other path is the long path. So let's draw it again. So this is the long path and this is the short path. We are interested in this voltage only, V out. So we are applying 10 volt and you can see they are equally divided between the two resistance. So we can either uh, use the um, VDR or we can do it directly to get the output. So by VDR, V output BC is 10 divided by 2K plus 2K multiplied by 2K is equal to 5 volt. Okay, so this is, uh, now you can see the, the voltage has reduced, input was 10 volt, but the output is 5 volt, but both positive. Okay, now for negative half cycle, negative 10 volts, so we have changed the sign, negative here, and exactly same technique for negative, this will now be forward bias and this will be reverse bias. So this is forward bias, reverse bias open, redraw it again, you just pull it, this is the short path and this is the long path, so short path and long path, we are interested in this voltage here. Current is flowing from bottom and going top, so making this terminal positive. And just like the previous one, we can uh, do it by two methods. If we can write VCB, which will be negative 10, which is input negative 10, divided by these two resistors multiplied by 2 is equal to minus 5 volt. But we are interested in VBC, so we'll invert the sign. So VBC is equal to 5 volt. And if you wanted to do directly, you could do directly also. This is the current flowing, dividing into two paths. So you get the 10 volt divided by 2, 2 plus into 2K, 5 volt, same, same result. And so the output for the second half will also be positive and 5 volt. So the net output diagram of the wave shape will look like this and for DC we just multiply by uh, 0636. So the output is 3.18 volt. Now if there were 4 diodes then the output would, would have been double of this. It would have been 0 0.636 into 10 that means 6.36. But because of uh, the reduction in number of diodes or half, this will be half of this 318 will be half of 6.36. So I hope this gives you an understanding as to how you can follow step by step and solve this type of question. Thank you.